Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to read John chapter 1 verses 1 through 8 in Koine Greek. I'm going to first read it and then I'm going to come back afterwards and explain the method that I use for pronouncing Koine Greek. So here's John chapter 1 verses 1 through 8. En arche en ologos, que ologos en prostante on, que te os en ologos, otos en en arche prostante on, panda di auto eyeneto, que joris auto eyeneto ude en, ho en en auto zoe en, que e zoe en tofos ton antropon, que tofos en te escotia fene, que escotia auto u catelaven. Ayeneto antropos apestalmenos para te u, onoma auto Ioannes. Utos elten is martorian, in a martorese peritu fotos, in a pantes pistevsosi di auto. Uc en equinos tofos, al in a martorese peritu fotos. Okay, here's uh, an explanation about the pronunciation system that I'm using. Uh, I am using what's called the uh, Living Koine, also referred to as the Royal Koine or Imperial Koine pronunciation system. There are basically three different uh, uh, legitimate ways of pronouncing Koine Greek. The first is called Erasmian, which was uh, put together by Erasmus in the 16th century. And to me, uh, and I think probably to anybody who knows any, anything about languages, um, that almost certainly was not the way that Koine Greek was uh, pronounced for many reasons. Um, and I think it's the most common too, so kind of interesting uh, note there. But uh, I, I am not going to explain these systems in detail. I'm going to reference underneath this video a paper by Dr. Randall Booth, which I think is outstanding. And uh, uh, it also gives some links to him, you know, doing some readings in the New Testament, which are excellent in my opinion. Uh, when I listen to his recordings, I think immediately that seems to me how it probably was pronounced. Um, so that first Erasmian system, I think that's not a good system. That's cacophonous and uh, dissonant. Um, I don't think anybody thinks it was actually pronounced like that. The second system, which I think is uh, very legitimate, is uh, to pronounce it the same way as you pronounce modern Greek. Um, Modern Greek and Koine Greek actually, believe it or not, even though they're separated by a lot of years, uh, are, are relatively similar. But I think Modern Greek is not ideal uh, in that it doesn't differentiate some of the phonemes in Koine Greek. Uh, and I'll, I'll leave that. You can reference Dr. Booth's paper on that for more detail. And third system, the system that I just used, is the Living Koine.